What is up everybody? I am back with a little clothing haul slash try on slash why do I always when I'm doing styling videos like show you and then try it on you guys just want to see it on right like so let's just dive into it. This has absolutely no theme to this okay I've just been traveling a lot your girl has been jet setting all over I went to the DR recently to the Hamptons I'm going to New York City I'm also going to Napa I have so many things coming up I'm literally not home ever I just want to show you all the new clothes because I feel like you get snippets of it on my Instagram and I never really show you like fully the look the vision we can just dive in everything will be linked below you guys know the drill along with my sizing this first look okay I have been weirdly loving wearing swimsuits this tops lately I know it's not that weird but also it's just it's great because when it's really hot outside you can just like sweat and you feel great about it this one I feel like just looks like a nice little micro top I just love micro tops with big tops like this this is also a top a button-up that I've been hyper fixating on lately if you follow me on Instagram at all which is shit okay join the crew I wear this every day okay like going to the coffee shop, running errands, just throwing this over, even just like on my hot girl walks, going on hikes. Like this is the definition of that girl, okay? Get you a girl that can do it all, um, she can. It's a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but also it's worth it to me because the material is so much better. I cannot tell you how many button ups. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find like a good button up, but I have tried. This isn't a size small. I wouldn't go up too much like, cause it's already just naturally oversized. So just get your normal size or even size down. I think is the key for this top, but I'm obsessed. Every one of you who said that you got this on my Instagram, you've all been loving it as well. So I'm just saying. And here's a little close up of the bikini top. I think this is so freaking cute. Obviously I've been wearing this as a bikini as well, but as it gets into the months where you're not like hanging at the beach or the pool all day, you can still wear it. And I just love this little detail down here. Oh, she's cute, she's cute. Also loving wearing this with the blazer, which I'll show you next. But I gotta show you these pants. These pantaloons are a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I've already actually been loving these with some heels. I'm not one to wear like baggy pants with sneakers. I just don't feel like, well, first of all, I literally do not own a pair of like trendy sneakers. Probably get on that train, but by the time I do that, I'll probably be out of style. Who knows? But I do love wearing these with some heels. I think these are so freaking cute. I love the little cargo. Obviously cargos are very in. They have been for a while. I've been dabbling, you know, I've been dabbling as a short gal. I'm five foot three. It is hard for me to not feel like swallowed by baggier pants sometimes. I feel like can just make me look 10 times shorter and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I can pull it off. really like these. I think the color is perfect. I love the little pocket detailing. So so cute. It's me on my tippy toes. So if you are short, I feel like these are still a really good length. And also these are true to size. I got a size 25 and I feel like they fit perfectly in the waist, still like baggy in the leg though. So, and these are under hundred dollars. So <laughs> while I'm at it, let me just show you this blazer. So this is from Camila Coelho collection. I have this in like a dark brown and I wear this nonstop as a regular blazer and also as a blazer dress. I thought this would be like another good everyday staple. I actually have the chocolate brown version of this exact same blazer in a size medium but I got this one in a size small and surprisingly I feel like the sizing isn't all that much different it's still oversized I honestly could still wear this as a blazer dress shocking I know but I actually have like the smallest torso ever something I realize more and more as I you know try to complete my closet my wardrobe with things that are like good quality pieces and will stand the test of time is to not skimp out on investing in a good blazer I'm someone who like I wear them so much it's definitely like a staple for me my friends make fun of me they're like gosh you're so like business cash girl I don't know like <laughs> I just I love a good blazer this one in particular has like shoulder pads but they're nothing too crazy it has these little pockets down here as well which I think are really cute this corset top is one of the newest pieces that I just got actually a couple days ago and it finally launched today so I can show you guys I'm obsessed okay this is also Camilla Qu Quillo oh my god I cannot speak Camilla Quillo collection at Revolve I feel like I just gravitate towards her collection like her clothing so much i freaking love it it's so cute so this is part of the august drop and you guys like are, are you freaking kidding me i love a good corset top but it's also sometimes a piece that's hard for me to get because again i do have a short torso and sometimes i feel like they just are not working with me so i normally get like really cropped versions but i love this one for fall because how freaking cute is this color scallop detailing are you freaking kidding me oh my god i feel like ariel like it's giving me it's giving tits you know it's giving tots 
tits and tots. I love how it gets longer in the front and then this little detailing right here, stop. Also, if you wear it with some like lower rise pants, I feel like it shows off your hips a little bit. Oh, how cute. I got this in my normal size, which I revolve is typically an extra small, but I would maybe recommend going one size up from your normal, especially if you have a larger chest, which I don't, but like I feel like it is a little bit tight on the boating on the back just because it's a corset. Corsets, you normally do have to go one size up. Just keep that in mind. This next outfit is definitely one that I've been hyper fixating on, aka I've been wearing this nonstop because it's just such a me outfit. I feel so good at it. And I'm realizing that more and more that I just gotta stick to what I love, what I know. And that is simple outfits and especially just like color blocking. I just, mm, I eat that shit up. This one is actually, I think these are both from H&M. I'm not positive, but I will link them down below again. I walked in there a couple weeks ago and I was like, you know what? I haven't been in here in so long. Let me just see what they have. I fell in love with these pants actually in a different color, but they didn't have my size. So I decided to go with the black and I'm so happy that I did because I've been wearing these literally like I've been living these pants. Let me actually bring this down. But first I will show you the bralette top because this is also one that I've been wearing a lot lately. Actually, I'm pretty sure I, when I went to link it, I realized that this was actually a swimsuit top, which is just blew my mind because this wasn't in the swimsuit section. And also it doesn't feel like a swim material at all. It's kind of like this ribbed detailing. So riddle me that H&M. I think this was under $20. It just keeps the goods in. The girls are locked and loaded. This is what the back looks like. Super chunky straps that you can adjust, which is great. Yes, these do have built-in pads, which you can remove. Here's a better look at the pants. I love these so much. So normally with like looser pants, you have to go up like one size to get that low rise vibe. But I find with these pants, actually they run pretty big. So I got this in a size small and I almost got a medium, but thank God I didn't. They already do kind of fall down. And this is me tying them a little bit tighter. So sometimes when I've been wearing these, I've just been folding them over once and then it fits a lot better. So if you want them, especially a little bit more of a higher waisted vibe, then I would go down one or two sizes, honestly. But if you like the lower rise vibe, kind of the looser baggy, obviously this is like in style, so I don't hate it, but they're so comfortable. Oh my God, you will not be disappointed. I'm obsessed. They've got pockets. And again, they just like feel really high quality. Gonna get other colors. I've also been wearing this button up constantly. It's pretty much my rotation is this one and the blue one. But this one, sometimes I feel like a paralegal when I'm wearing just like white and black, which is a vibe, but you know, what can you do? I've been wearing this also at the beach, like as a swimsuit cover up. I've also just been wearing it with, you know, the formula, the formula, which you guys already know. This one I can confidently say is the perfect white button up. Finally, it took me only a couple years, guys, but we made it, we made it. This is by the brand Rails. I am so in love with this. So good. I absolutely had to include this little knit top in this haul because I posted this on Instagram, like just me working at my desk the other day. You guys were like, where the frick is this sweater vest? Whatever you want to call it, sweater vest. I don't know, but it's so freaking cute. This is probably the brand Shop Rumors. And this is actually my first time, I think, like doing a haul from them. I bought a bunch of pieces and I'm just obsessed with their clothing. Like they have so many cute things. So I'm definitely gonna be shopping from them again because everything fits so good and I just, I love it. So this one is such a fun top because you can wear it kind of like open like this or hear me out you can double button it <laughs> so i like to wear it obviously like this because i feel like it's a little i don't know it's a little bit more me also with some baggy pants like this i've been wearing it also with some jeans and my white linen pants which i will show you next but how cute is this it's just it's giving like coastal granddaughter which is definitely a huge trend obviously the coastal grandmother but i'm more of a coastal granddaughter just a little bit more hip a little less grandma i also just like to style those kind of pieces with more trendier like not as grandma chic you know how freaking cute is this though i love Another piece that's in desperate need of esteem, I'm aware. Self-awareness is key. I just cannot get over these pants. Where have they been all my life? Why haven't I joined the linen train sooner? These ones are like the perfect linen pant for me. So I will link them below. They're also from Rails, I believe. And oh my God. They're just so freaking cute. The quality is amazing. I feel like the length is also really good on me that I can wear them with heels or with sandals, which is also like the key for me. If I can wear them with both, hello. It's also adjustable. I don't know. I love, I love. Oh my God, this outfit also just reminded me that when I went to the Dominican Republic, I bought a couple new pairs of shoes because I felt like all my sandals were like chuggy, honestly. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. So the first pair that I got were from this brand, Kana's. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I got these from Revolve and I just thought these were, or maybe Shop Up. I'm unsure. I'll link them below. But they're so freaking cute, so comfortable. And I surprisingly wore them a lot. I felt like these are just such a good, like staple sandal, nice neutral. So I feel like they would just honestly go with everything. The other two pairs of sandals that I got are the exact same, but I've heard so many good things about this brand Teeks, I think is how you pronounce them. I also, the very first time I tried these on, which was only a couple weeks ago, I already made them dirty of just trying them on in my room. So <laughs> I am disgusting. So obviously just 
just note that with white sandals, obviously it's not gonna look great, but when you put your foot in it, like you can't see it. Okay, you can't see that I'm a teenage dirtbag. I got this one in a size six, this one in a size seven. They both fit, honestly, perfectly. I don't really know if I have a preference, which is not helpful. I'm a size six and a half, so again, get you a girl that can do both. Freaking love these. If you're looking for a good sandal, highly recommend this brand. I feel like they just, they go with everything. This skirt is also one that you guys have been asking me nonstop. <laughs> it's a link on my Instagram when I think I have, I can't remember, but obviously I have to show my YouTube career because I actually have been living in this one as well. I've been saying that about every single piece here. So like the boy who cried wolf, okay, you guys get it. Girls like it, I get it. And this skirt gets it. It's my go-to now with like a little micro white top or this, and then that button up, like that blue button up. That's just been my go-to outfit with my little clogs. Oh my God, I have to show you guys my clogs. But this skirt, whoo, I never really saw myself being on like a long skirt trend. I was like, that is absolutely not me at all. But this skirt, she gets it. I'm obsessed, so freaking comfortable. I love the ribbed cute little thing. And also it shows off, I have like these little anklets on, which I will also link below. I'm like how cute is this? Stop, stop, stop. I'm so dead. This is another magic set from the new August drop from Camila Coelho collection. I'm bringing this with me on my New York trip. Even though I know it's gonna be like super fucking hot when I go there, I still wanna shoot some fall outfits. And I thought this was just like the perfect in between. It's a really good like LA fall outfit as well because it's like I get the knits, but I also get a short skirt. So real me that. We love a good combo, but how cute is this? I immediately, when I saw this, I was like, I need you in my life. What I love about this skirt in particular is that you can like kind of make it your own so I can it has like this big zip right here so you can technically zip it like down if you want it and then have it flipped open like this which is also actually really fucking cool I love that and then I can also zip this down if I'm like okay it's too much like let's give a little you know but you can really just customize it make it your own and I just love that because then you get kind of like it feels like you have more outfits than you actually do and I just love a good matching set for that reason because then you get like double the outfits triple the outfits quadruple the freaking outfits, you know what I mean? I'm wearing an extra small in both of these as well. I would say they definitely run true to size. If you wanna get that more like oversized look with the top, then I would size up, but it is gonna be like, it's kind of that like boxy crop style. So you don't wanna get like too crazy or else it gets like kind of swallows you, you know what I mean? But I love crop sweaters for short torso gals. So if you have a short torso like me, this is your go-to. This is another vacation outfit. I wore this vacate shin outfit. Thank you very much. This is what I wore in the Dominican Republic on the first night. They had like a welcome dinner. I wore this on like the sunset. I love this two piece. It's so cute. It's another Camilla outfit. Okay. Once again, I have a type and I'm not ashamed at my consistency. I love the waffly kind of like detail. It kind of reminds me of those shirts. You remember those like popcorn shirts as a kid? It's not that exact material, but it, for some reason when I like stretch it, it kind of gives me similar vibes. So for that, we have no choice but to stand. This is technically a midi skirt. I'm on my tiptoes right now because I'm short, so I can't really show you the full vibe. But what I like about this is it's super comfy and elastic and I can wear this like lower waisted if I want. I can also kind of wear this more of like an asymmetrical vibe if I'm feeling saucy or I can pull it up like honestly as high waisted as I want. So the customizable and it also shows off the little anklet. That matching set actually just reminded me that there was another dress from that collection that I brought with me to the DR and I almost forgot to show you this but this is actually one of my favorite dresses that I wore specifically because it's the most comfortable outfit ever which I don't know if you would expect but I love feeling like all dressed up and like it just makes me feel all confident and good but then also feeling equally as comfortable it's like i have both like that is like my formula for the perfect outfit but how cute are these like little rings i feel like this would be the perfect cabo dress just saying this runs true to size and again i'm five foot three this goes all the way down to my ankle so if you are taller this could potentially be more of a midi dress on you just depending on your height but it's perfect the slit like stops Okay, wait, can we have like a moment of silence moment for this dress? Oh my God. I'm normally, as you guys know, I'm not like a color gal, but like we couldn't get more colorful than this dress. I'm just so obsessed with it though. I saw it and I was like, I know I need to have this for my DR trip because I just felt like it was such a colorful place, like wanting to wear bold colors. And I wore this on, I think like the second to last night and it was just, it was a hit, it was a bop, but how beautiful. This is a completely silk dress. So stunning, so flattering. I think this is as true to size. I think this would be the perfect wedding guest outfit. They have so many different colors. So like obviously, <laughs> If you're like in a wedding and you don't want to go so crazy and like so bold with the colors they have beautiful muted colors like an olive color i think it have like a nice light orange and ivory but normally like silk dresses i feel like for me are more kind of just like boxy right here but i love how it just kind of like hugs your curves but it's still super comfortable and there's also this like stitching detailing that kind of goes asymmetrical which i don't know if you can see that but it is just 
so freaking stunning. I am so excited about this because from first glance, you probably think this is the Skims dress, but in fact, it is not. It is a dupe and I'm pretty sure it was like $30, maybe less. I don't know. I will link it below. It comes in other colors as well. Yes, I do need to get this in black as well because this honestly, okay, I haven't gotten the real Skims dress if you want me to and like compare them, then I definitely will. But honestly, like I feel like this is, this is the Skims dress. This is the Skims dress. It's the most perfect dupe ever. It makes me look like I have a butt when in fact I do not. Snatches you. I mean, it speaks for itself. I'm very impressed and pleased with the length of this. It's not too long on me, which again, with maxi dresses, it's like, it's very much usually a miss. But when it's a hit, I gotta show my people. I'm gonna end the haul here because I feel like this is all over the place, but I have so many different pieces for like so many different occasions. Everything again will be linked down in the description box below along with my sizing. And if it's true to size or if I sized up or down just to help sister out. Also, let me know your favorite pieces from this haul video. I'm dying to know. I hope you guys found some pieces that you liked. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. Mwah!